Hello everyone. In this introduction to Unity video, we are going to talk about the Unity Hub. Before we get into it, remember to subscribe to see more and hit the notification bell to be notified whenever I upload. It really helps me out. Now, on with the show. So let's start with the question, what is the Unity Hub? So a couple of years ago, um, Unity introduced uh, this hub in its first iteration. And its general idea is to kind of contain everything about your engines and your projects all in one place rather than have multiple installs all over the place and icons all over your desktop to start different versions. So you can have all your versions installed in the Unity Hub. It progressed over the years and obviously newer versions come out one by one. So as of recording this video I am in version 2.3 and as you can see up here version 2.4 is available. So that's why I'm in 2.3 because I just wanted to illustrate that any notification of an update will appear up here. Nice and simple, you click, install, and update. So this is now the install screen. You can see all the versions that I have installed currently. You can have multiple. It's up to you what you want to have. If you want to have an extra version, you just need to click on add, and it will give you the option of all the latest official releases and pre-releases. Now, I would recommend sticking with the official releases rather than the pre-releases. The reason being is, well, they are pre-releases. They've not been fully tested. Think of it that way. So it's always best to stick with probably one of these. So you would just go forward, click next, and you'd be able to install. And after downloading, installing, it would appear here in your installs. And you have different options. Obviously, you can see I have... Four different versions and you can also locate an older install so if you've got maybe 2018 installed you can locate it and add it to this install base here next up the list we have community now the community tab is kind of new it's not always been here but it is helpful to some degree because right here we have the unity blog and this is a good place to kind of look for new stuff uh, coming to unity um as it says here tips tricks and all that kind of stuff it's got answers forums um, and Unite Now. So that is probably worth checking out at least. The next one up is Learn. And I do believe that this is bugged for some people. It may not necessarily load up correctly. But you can see here, there are different things that you can learn. These are all the official Unity uh, projects that you can download. It's, it's entirely up to you which way you want to go. Some people do prefer it. Some people prefer these videos here on YouTube by the likes of me. Games plus James, Speed Tutor, all people like us. Um, so I guess it's entirely up to you how you want to learn Unity if you are brand new. The final one up here is projects. And you can see all of these projects I have installed. So all of these are something I make. All these relate to something that I have on my channel one way or another. And generally, you can choose which version you want to start all these in. Um, it's entirely up to you what you want to do. You may want to stick with 2019, 2020, 2021, 2022, whenever you see those versions. Also, if you do not have a version installed, you will see down here a little exclamation mark on this platformer one. So that denotes that you cannot open that in its current selected version, which is indeed 2018.2. So you would need to select a new version to open it up in. But all it really is, is a case of clicking and you would open it. If you wanted to create a new project, this is where you would do it. You would click on new. And you would have this little window here telling you creating a new project. It's a little bit slow but that doesn't matter too much. And you can select whatever you want to have here, whether it's 2D, 3D, HDRP, URP. So the universal render pipeline used to be known as the lightweight render pipeline, but they've kind of renamed it and brought it together a little bit more. Uh, the HDRP is the high definition render pipeline. So a lot of the projects I do usually are done in 3D, um, but you know, it's entirely up to you. There are many different ways that you can develop games in Unity, and this is the first stage to creating that project. So generally, the Unity Hub is a very useful place to be. Loads of stuff uh, in the Community and Learn tabs. Um, but if you want to know any more, leave a comment below. If you've got any cool, awesome little tips and tricks for this, 
also let me know because there's lots of stuff not everyone can know everything about unity at all given times and i always like to learn new things when i can but for all intents and purposes hopefully this little video will have done just the trick to get you accustomed to the unity hub thank you very much for watching guys